Good afternoon, travelers. My name is Walter. I'm traveling with my little Max, a teardrop that I love, small but convenient to tow and everything else. So before we start, just to let you know, I'm here in Florence, Oregon. You can hear the wind on the background. Uh, fortunately, the weather in Oregon is not that great this time of the year, especially if it uh, get wind. Well, so let's talk about entertainment on your RV. I see a lot of questions regarding how do you travel, how you get yourself entertained while you're on the road, especially when you're in a situation like this, where I only have one neighbor. Uh, I see a lot of people with uh, different types of dish systems. They cost quite a bit. You have to pay every month for it. So my solution was to get this particular antenna. I have tried several of them and this one seems to be the winner. I have found some flat ones. They cost like 12 bucks or so. But this one is an end top antenna. It is uh, directional. So you can get as many digital free channels off the air as you can get depending where you're located. You can search online where to point your antenna. I use an app. The app that I use is called Digital TV Antenna or DTV Antenna and basically what this app allows me to do is where I'm located it shows the direction where I should point my antenna. So it's showing that this direction is the best then also I have this direction and it shows NBC, it shows the different types of channels I can point to and then I just you know I have to make a choice. Do I want uh, NBC, CBS, or just the other ones? And also shows the distance where those antennas are located at. So once I find the antenna location, as, as you can see, if I move, move around, the pointer points to where I have to sh point my antenna to. So in this case, it's pointing to that direction that's towards Eugene, Oregon. And then I look at my antenna. So I look at my antenna and then I just decide where to point. I make sure it matches where the app is showing that I should point to. And then I just go inside and do the fine tuning with the TV. Now, how do I attach this antenna? I have an old tripod from a camera. This tripod is metal, so it holds pretty good. I guess aluminum might be better. It may not be as strong. And then I have those tie-downs. They're like uh, uh, rubberized, but they're strong and flexible. So this gives me good grip. And this is just my uh, bicycle rack. Sometimes it's a little tricky. You have to move the antenna a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right uh, to make it perfect. Uh, but usually the first time I point it out, I get stuff. If you do decide to get your own antenna, that one is directional. There's omnidirectional, which are round antennas. So it's supposed to pick up everything around it. I like directional because they have stronger strength. Uh, so make sure you get one that's powered. It's usually five volts. And then your trailer most likely has the cable connection that you can hook up the cable from the campsite you're at or just the digital antenna that I'm using now. And that's pretty much all you need. But here in Florence, I'm able to get 19 different channels just pointing to that direction that I showed you. And then if you look at the channel list, depending where you're at, of course, it's going to show a different list. And so you can see here all the channels that I get. Sometimes there's more, there, there's about 19 channels that I'm able to pick it up. So it's a free solution for you to be entertained. Uh, my other entertainment solution is the Roku stick. Of course, the Roku comes in different formats. Stick, little block, there's sound bar, so you pretty much can choose yours. So if you heard of the Roku stick, that's another option that I use once in a while when they do have internet. My third solution, it is this device called the Screen Bean. The Screen Bean allows you to connect your cell phone to a HD device which happens to be your TV. So you do not need to be on the same Wi-Fi. Usually most of those systems that you get 
and connect to your TV, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi system. Since here I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi, this one connects on the back of your HDMI connector, in the back of your TV, and then all you have to do is just search connect direct to TV, and then this device will show as one of the devices that you can connect to on your cell phone, and then you'll just connect your cell phone or tablet directly to your TV without using Wi-Fi, so I can stream videos and some other things from my cell phone. My last entertainment option is what's called this computer stick. It's an Atom processor, so it's not very fast, but it is a PC on a stick. So I have Windows 10, and it does have the capability of putting in an SD card, so if you have movies or some other things that you want to watch on your TV, and then also has a USB port, and of course it has the power port, and you just plug it in on the back of your HDMI on your TV. And then I like to have a keyboard, of course, so I can type, so it's more convenient. And then I can basically browse the internet or do whatever I want because I have this PC with me. So those are my entertainment system options. I also have a couple video games that you plug in on HDMI, and they're about this size as well. Uh, so when the weather is not very nice, uh, I just plug one of those items in and then I entertain myself and hope for the weather to get better. Just to make sure I'm not sponsored by any of those devices that I showed you today, so use them at your own risk. I'm just showing what has worked for me. I would say that all, all of those, the antenna is the one that I use the most, the most because a lot of times I'm close to a city or as soon as I get to my camping site, that's the first thing I try. I look at my app to see if there are any TV towers available nearby. And then even if they're 60, 70 miles away, I try them out. Uh, most of the times I do get at, at least two, three channels. And I think the most I got was like 50 when it was really close to a, a large city and had tons of channels. So I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. As you can see, this channel, it's in Portuguese mostly because I'm trying to help out travelers that come all the way from Brazil to Alaska and they do not know the American system of camping and this, the, the, what they need to know to be able to get to Alaska. So I hope you like it. And then if you have more questions, uh, just put on the comments and I'll respond to you. Take care.